What's up guys? This is Brian Weber here with a, another video for you on YouTube. And this is a video that I wanted to make for quite some time. And I'm gonna talk about the right and the wrong way to approach trading as a beginner. Because as this volatility is increasing and it's attracting a lot of newbies, people that have no experience trading, that they're more than likely approaching this the wrong way, trying to get rich quick, trading with too much money, trading with their emotions, with no understanding or no knowledge whatsoever on how to actually trade in general. So I thought I'd make this video to help, hopefully help some of those people out. And if you, maybe it'll actually help you out too if you're going through some trading struggles as well. So let's dive in to some of the things I wanna talk about. So the first thing I wanna talk about is I've actually had this, I've seen this problem with a lot of new traders especially some people that have come to me to coach them because um, they're getting lured into this market with the, how much volatility that's, that there has been in the past few months. And there's been a lot of FOMO. There's been a lot of, oh, I always want to make a bunch of money really fast. Uh, you know, how, what should I buy? When should I buy? What, you know, stuff like that without even caring whatsoever on how to actually trade yourself themselves. You know, how do I teach me how to read a chart? You know, teach me why this trade is working, why this one isn't working, where should I enter, where should my stop loss be, where should I take my profit. They're, they don't care about these fine granular details on how to actually more or less trade as opposed to just, they're all focused on making the money. Yeah, that's great. You only make money trading, it, you're, it's, as a re, it's a reward for actually doing your job at, with having discipline, um, sticking to your strategy, having a strategy in the first place. You know, a lot of these people that come and talk to me about trading, they don't even have any idea. Uh, they don't have a trading plan. They don't have any idea where they would enter a trade, more or less um, how much position sizing they would actually need for this trade, like how to, how to have a, a proper risk management approach to it. Like, let me give you an example without giving anyone, saying any names at all. Um, I've had a, someone come in the past to me with, uh, had many coaching sessions with this person and taught them everything from how to read charts, read market structure, trend, everything, you know, how to read volume with price action, either through a day trading, a swing trading uh, time frame, it doesn't matter because it's all, the market's fractal. The same thing will work on a small time frame and it will work on a larger time frame. And, this person, at the end of every video, every session that we had, continually came back to me and asked me, okay, so when should I buy it? Where should I buy it? I'm like, I don't, like, it, it wasn't getting through to that particular person. Uh, like, the stuff I was trying to teach you to give you, you know, teach you how to fish. You know, I'm not going to do it for you type thing. And that's what, tr that's what trading is. It's a business, and you have to learn and put in the work and figure out how to actually do it yourself don't rely on other people to do it. You don't go to your day job and ask people to do your job for you, do you? And that's the same thing with trading. You're gonna to have to sit there, put in the time and effort to learn actually how to do it. You know, learn how you react emotionally when you're trading live money and find out what strategy works best for you. You know, everyone's different, okay? There, it's not as simple as telling you where to buy and sell. Because even if I were to do that, and I explain this to the person, the way that I would trade, if I told you to buy and sell, your emotions are different than mine. You're most likely, 99% of the time, you're not gonna take the same exact trade that I'm gonna take. And if the trade goes against me, I'm comfortable taking risk, you know, because I've already planned for it. But the other person, on the other hand, you that person might panic sell, you know? It hasn't hit their stop loss yet, but yet they're feeling fear, um, fear of losing. They want to go back to safety, so they want to exit the trade because they think it's going to stop them out, but it ends up never hitting their stop, and then it takes off and maybe hits their profit target. So there's a lot of variables that go into this. That's why my main approach to how you should start out with trading is there's a couple things. You actually want to approach it as a business. Obviously, everyone always says that, but what does that actually mean? Like, 
Um, if you think about it as an employee, you are a business and you're going to sell your skills to a company that's going to hire you, hopefully to make you know a decent amount of money. But first off, before you even get a job, you get internships. You learn skills that are gonna that you're gonna bring more valuable to the next company or that current company you're working for that are eventually gonna pay you more money. It's the same thing with trading. You know, it takes time. You're not gonna know how to make a crap load of money within like the first couple weeks, months, you know. It's gonna take years. You know, it's like any other career. Do you think I'm an engineer, my background, software and ocean engineering, and I'm sure doctors, um, lawyers, any other hard profession do you really think those people expected to make a shit ton of money within the first first year first month whatever like these people come into trading and they think they can make a shit ton of money by not knowing a goddamn thing excuse me but it's true and it really gets on my nerves and i'm like there is no easy answer you have to put in the work that's all there is screen time learning what works for you what doesn't work and keep pursuing with a small amount of risk until you figure out what works consistently for you, then you can slowly start to add to your positions and start increasing your risk. You know, having more money, trading with more money does not anywhere, any way, shape or form equal that you're going to be a better trader. The only thing that will, will happen is that your, your losses will be bigger and you'll be psychologically damaged by trading with too much money from the get-go. And that's what a lot of problems, a lot of problems will come from that. And that's one of the, the, going back to the guy that I was coaching, he kept doing that when I told him not to. He pretty much did everything I told him not to do, which is coincidentally a lot of problems that people have psychologically when they're trading. They know what to do, but they don't do it. And why is that? Because they aren't disciplined. They, they're trading from a place of fear, place of stress. They're not in the right mindset. There's a lot of things. It's very, it's very specific to the individual. And then for that particular person, he was always stressed out. Um, he had financial money issues, financial issues. Like you're depending upon your trading to make a living. It sh you, sh you cannot trade like that. You have to be able to be free of any financial stresses, life stresses. Um, you got to be in a clear, calm state mentally and physically. And then knowing that if you lose this money, you can still pay your bills. And there's, it's not going to ruin you financially. As soon as you start trading for, make trading into depending on that money that you need to make to pay your bills and stuff, you're, you're, it's going to be game over. You, you, can't, you can't approach trading that way. It's the same thing with a business too. And when you start a side hustle in a business, you wanna, you're gonna have a day job, right? That's continually having income come in. You're not gonna rely on that business from the get-go to pay your bills. You're gonna build it up over time and then eventually that income, well, the plan will be for it to overtake your day job and eventually pay for your bills and pay for everything and eventually bring in more money to you. That's the same thing with trading. I don't know why people think, why they don't think about it like this. It's probably because of all the financial institutions and ads you'll see in businesses throughout the year the industry has just propped it up to seem like it's super easy to make money trading like give me put all your money in deposit twenty thousand um, dollars watch how easy it is for me to make uh, you know a hundred percent of that in like a day or two or like a month or something and it's it's just it drives me crazy you know and I used to be one of those people and I learned that it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of failures to get to a point where you actually can see some consistency and success because it's like a repetitive process. You got to keep going in the loop. It's like an engineering loop. Like when you're designing and building something, you keep reiterating until you've, there's no such thing as perfection, but you're just optimizing your strategy to where you're minimizing losses and you're maximizing your gains. And you're taking the trades that will have a high probability of giving you a, a profit, you know, and that it's as simple as that. But like I always say, trading is simple, but it is not easy for all these reasons that I just talked about. So um, this is just like more of a rant to me uh, because I just needed to kind of put this out there for other people to hear. And I'm sure professional traders and people that have been trading for a while can relate to this. And I hope that this helps 
a lot of you beginner traders that are thinking about starting to trade because the volatility and maybe you don't have a have a job now from the COVID-19 crisis that we're dealing with right now and you have all this free time and you know what let me I have 20 30 grand let me try day trading you know and you really got to approach it um, in the ways that I'm talking about in this video through like a calm collected mindset um, you're not relying on this money if you lose it you know you got to approach it in a small small position sizing small risk approach from the get-go maybe trade on sim for a month but I would avoid sim trading longer than that because you need to learn how you how you deal emotionally with putting on live money but that's why I always trade the micros and suggest people to trade the micros if the especially if the volatility is high uh, you trade the minis on when the Nasdaq is moving a couple hundred points you, you, there's very little room for error and uh, you can get knocked out real quick uh, hitting your max, max risk and it could really mess you up emotionally. So approaching it from a small position sizing, focus on risk management, trade micros, learn to get the process down, spend weeks to months doing that. You know, you make 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks a day, it's okay, you're making money. But you're more or less you're, you're instilling good habits. You're learning what works, what doesn't, for a very small price. It's your tuition you're paying to the market. Would you rather pay twenty to f like fifty dollars loss per trade to learn, or are you going to pay five hundred, five thousand? It's up to you. You know, it's going to be easier on your psychology if you approach it from a, sl a smaller risk perspective. And then once you learn how to actually trade. The only difference is, is you increase your position sizing and you follow the same process that got you profitability in the first place. But you want to ease into that because you want to slowly prepare and condition your psychology to be able to handle that extra position sizing. Trading one lot compared to ten lot, you're going to react differently. A thousand percent guarantee you will. And John Rambo, if you ever listen to his chat with traders, his uh, interview with Aaron Fifield, he talks about um, that guy is just a crazy trader in general. And he used to say every time I would trade like a two lot, I would be really consistent. Next thing I, I go to a, a three or a four lot, I lose instantly. Have to go back to a two lot. And that's what's going to happen every time. That's why you got to build yourself up to be able to handle it. So please, for you beginners, Please take this advice to heart. I'm only telling you from my experience. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. That's why I'm making this YouTube channel to share my journey and share my insights with you guys. And um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be posting more videos in the future. Um, so just let me know if you guys wanna share your experience chat just let me know in the comments and uh i'll be back with another video with you guys soon and uh happy trading let price discovery be your guide and manage your risk take care guys bye